Hi, my name is Liz Evans. Most of you probably know me as Liz Merge, but thankfully, just before lockdown hit, I managed to get married to my wonderful husband, uh, Steve, um, and Andrew conducted an absolutely beautiful service for us. So, in all of this really rubbish time that's been going on, um, that's really made something special for us out this year. Um, my job is I'm a primary school teacher. I teach in a school just outside um, um, Bay and this time tomorrow I'll either be teaching the children phonics or doing their most favourite activity, playtime. Um, I have been teaching for about 15 years now um, and I've taught in a couple of different schools. My current school that I'm at, I've been at um, for about 10 years. I'm really blessed to be working in a Church of England school um, so I'm able to talk about my faith and my religion with the children and I'm also the church distinctiveness um, coordinator at the school which means I'm in charge of organising um, all the worships for the children um, where we get to learn more about God and find out more from his stories which is really good to be able to kind of make it more engaging for children because obviously they come from completely different walks of life You've got some that have never opened the Bible and some that have grown up in a church environment and going to Sunday school. And also within my role as church, church distinctiveness, tricky one to say, um, I get to organise lots of things throughout the school, so supportive things like we do food bank, um, reverse advent calendars, um, we find out about um, planking vicar weeks, and all those sorts of things to get involved in the community and really teach the children how to live a Christian life. So it's not just reading the Bible, it's actually about putting all those sorts of things um, into practice. And our motto at our school is we don't just say it, we do it. We actually live the life as Jesus would want us to. I'm also really blessed that this last few years, I've managed to um, set up a little group of children um, who want to find more about Jesus and they read the Bible, or we learn how to do worship together and they get out on the playground, talk to other children, pray with other children and it's really been lovely to help children learn more about Jesus and about more about the Christian faith and know that children are happy to come and talk to me and ask me questions and things. So within that part of my role I really feel that I'm able to kind of share my beliefs and my faith with the children. Day to day um, working with the children it's just nice to be able to be with them and help them through with knowing the love of God in me and hopefully passing that on to them. Um, over this time it's obviously been a really funny old year with lots of things going on and the children have really struggled with that. I mean I've stayed out of school for so long and with them coming back it was nice to be able to talk to them and support them and help them through that. I find at the moment um, what really helps me is to kind of rely on God and kind of really use him as my strength, my fortress. I just want to finish off by sharing with you a psalm to just really encourage you all and kind of keep you going and hope that you can listen to this and use this time to have that resting time in God and really trust in him um, and use him as your uh, rock. So it's from Psalm 62, verse 5. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honour depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him, in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. I really hope, hope you'll keep him well, and hopefully we can all be together soon at the church.